this is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. Ladies and gentlemen, in an effort as a professional Latidiologist to understand Latiti and the environment Latiti comes from, to verify some of the stories that she puts out day after day on her channel, I'm forced to look into the people close to her. Uh, especially when those people, when Latiti puts those people on video screaming and losing their mind like her brother Angel. I'm going to read you a supplemental affidavit to a protective order that was issued against Angel Servin in, uh, in 2000. Wait, hold on. Do I have that right? Hold on a second. Hold on. I gotta see. Uh, yes. Hold on. I might have to pull the original one up. I think I transposed these numbers. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that part's not important exactly when he got the protective order. The fact is that a, a fucking nine-year protective order was issued against Angel. Now, you might have seen some of the documentation that's come out. I'm going to read it now. I've redacted some names. Uh, in this case, I can't. I haven't redacted the actual document, so I can't put that up on the screen. You can either believe me or not believe me about this shit. Maybe I'm just making it all up. I'm not, but you can find the documents online. I mean, they're, they are, they're all over the fucking place. But put on some Phil Collins, take me home. Now, this, uh, this protective order was issued by, uh, by a woman named, uh, let's see, what was her name? Charlene, Cheryl, let me pull it up right here. Oh, Cecilia, that's right. Now, if you look into who Cecilia is, in the protective order, in the story you're about to hear, they talk about how the children that they're mentioning are cousins, right? The funny thing about cousins is their parents tend to be siblings. The person issuing the protective order is Cecilia, Letitia's sister. You'll also recall that Letitia says that uh, her sister's not allowed around the family anymore. And she also talks about one of her brothers that molested her sister's children. Now, we may have assumed that was the older brother, the same one she accused of uh, going down on her in her sleep. But let's take a look at the paperwork. This is a uh, affidavit, a supplemental affidavit for uh, seeking protective order. That states that is from Letitia's sister, seeking protection against her brother, Angel, for her and her children. Angel's servant has physically, mentally, and sexually abused my daughter, Jasmine, we'll just say Jasmine C., he has said that his girlfriend would get a gun from a friend and come kill my son, Leonardo M. Apparently she has kids from different men. Because he states that my son was, has put his hands on his stepdaughter in private areas. Yet my daughter, Jasmine C., says that the stepdaughter was actually abused by Angel Servin and made the stepdaughter say that her cousin, Leonardo, had done the abuse. Angel Servin had threatened and pushed me to have my son admit the abuse so that the fire with the police and investigators end so that nobody will look at Angel Servin as an abuser. Child Advocacy talked to my daughter last week, and my daughter broke down giving complete accounts of anal sexual abuse, uh, made to give him oral sex, made to pose naked for photos and videos, and made to wear Angel Servant's girlfriend's underwear. Jasmine C. was made to drink a whitish slash yellow creamy substance that she describes to perhaps be semen. Angel Servant says he will accuse my son of the abuse and make him go to adult prison being 13 years old from 3 to 8 years so that his girlfriend is happy and continues her relationship with Angel says she will haunt my family if my son doesn't go to jail. His girlfriend has gone to my son's school to accuse him to be a sexual predator with school officials. Now I know, that was a convoluted story written by an idiot, but let's try to break that story down. So apparently Angel has stepchildren, or did at that point. The kids involved are Angel's unnamed stepdaughter, and the reporter's two children, Leonardo and Jasmine, who are cousins. And like I said, funny thing about kids who are cousins, the parents tend to be siblings. And Leticia has many times talked about her brother, who molested one of her sister's kids. The sister with nine kids, if you recall. And without anything else to go on, this seems to be the story she's referencing. The first important detail here is that uh, Cecilia is Angel and Letitia's sister. Number one, hands down. She claims Angel viciously and graphically molested her daughter Jasmine. This woman goes understandably berserk. Angel says if she accuses him of molesting her daughter, he and his girlfriend will claim her son Leonardo raped his daughter. You gotta gotta break this story apart to understand it. Child advocates get involved and Jasmine breaks down and tells the whole story. So Angel's girlfriend lives up to the threat. This might be the 16-year-old girlfriend, I can't confirm, but her behavior certainly screams immature. So while Unky Angel is threatening to take his nephew to the law for putting his hands on his stepdaughter, the girlfriend goes up to school, the kid's school to accuse him in public. When they're confronted, uh, Angel's response is his girlfriend will haunt them until the end of time. Now when you deconstruct this story and put it in the context of it all being family, and it all lining up with Latiti's multiple accounts of her brother molesting her sister's kids, it starts to make sense. This did not lead to a conviction. That's a very important thing to say when dealing with charges this serious. I was hoping to catch that before a change. This is not appropriate for hard-shaped box at all. But nonetheless, uh, it didn't lead to any convictions. Perhaps there was no physical evidence. Maybe it's all servant family bullshit. 
Like we hear come out of Latidia all the time. I can't say. These are some pretty messed up accusations to not result in something. But there was a nine-year restraining order issued against Angel. That's right. Nine fucking years keeping him away from those children. So even if they couldn't pin criminal charges to his ass, a judge thought it was a good enough idea to ensure that he couldn't see his own nieces and nephews from August 11th, 2000 to 2009. Now, I'm not a lawyer. But I've seen 90-day protective orders handed out like candy for essentially nothing. Three to five-year protective orders handed out by family courts for everything. But nine fucking years keeping him away from those children? Wow. It's safe to assume that even if the court couldn't prove it, they were pretty sure what this guy did. But to be clear, there was no conviction on this, and he's not a registered sex offender. So why why would every, why is everyone so scared of Angel? Why is Angel why is it a big deal? What you know that, that Angel servants involved? Well, it might have something to do with this. In 2009, Angel Servant was involved in the shooting of two people. Let's read the article. The February shooting that left an 18-year-old man dead is believed to have been gang-related, according to a criminal complaint filed in Rock County Court. Reports referred to, re referred to in the complaint, state police believe the shooting was motivated by a running dispute between the Latin Kings and maniac Latin disciples. Angel Servin, you recognize uh, Brother Angel here, a little chunkier back in his younger days, the man arrested in connection with the incident is a member of the Latin Kings. According to the reports in the complaint, Servin has said he's the main leader of the Latin Kings, known as their Inca. The complaint also states he's about 20 years old claiming to be an OG at this point. Servin, 20, of the 700 block of East Briar Lane, town of Beloit, was arrested earlier this month in connection with the death of Joseph Dubuque, 18. He was taken into custody on the statement of a co-defendant, David Rodriguez, according to the complaint. There have been no homicide charges filed against Servin, but he has been charged with intimidation of a witness in regards with the homicide. While in jail, Servin made several phone calls to people, so he's calling from jail, telling them to make Rodriguez admit that he lied and beat him up if needed, according to the complaint. The phone calls were recorded. Of course they were. They're from jail. Rock County Court Commissioner Stephen D. Myers set bond for Angel, Angel Servin at 25000 during his initial appearance in court May 15th. His next court appearance is scheduled for 9 a.m. May 28th. The Rock County District Attorney's Office is waiting for crime scene evidence to be processed by the state crime lab, and Beloit police are still investigating the case. Pe police believe others were involved in the killing of Dubuque. During Servin's initial appearance, District of Attorney David O'Leary said Servin was a danger to the community because of his involvement with drugs and gangs. O'Leary contended that Servin was making more than three thousand a week selling drugs as a Latin King, so he set the bond said the bond needed to be set high. Dubuque was killed at the intersection of Olympian Boulevard and Sixth Street after being struck by gunfire several times. At least two other people were in the car with Dubuque when the when the shooting happened, but they fled the scene unharmed. Police located the suspect's vehicle shortly after the shooting on the northwest side of Beloit and impounded evidence at collection. It had been reported stolen since January. So that explains a little bit more about why they're a little touchy about fucking with old Angel. He's gotten away with some shit before. A 20-year-old Inca for the Latin Kings. And the gang shooting credentials to back it up. Just like in the other story, Angel's MO is to threaten the victims and witnesses into silence. He was convicted in 2009 as well for selling blow to an undercover. Something I'm sure the authorities set him up for just because he got away with a gangland killing and they know he did it. Now to his credit, since being released, Angel has not gotten any more in, into any more trouble. Though if you listen to Latiti, he is a violent gang member who dates 16-year-olds at 30. And during the big fight video that Latiti released, if you recall, with Angel in it, they, they reference this, and Gail, her mother, doesn't correct it. So that might be true as well. Now if I may quote the movie Ghost, I need to talk to you directly right now, Jason Wallace. You in danger, girl. Because if we also, if we, on that same video that they took down, that I have and is in Latiti too. You will see, uh, you will see Angel reference trying to find her rapist, which quite frankly is the most reasonable thing in this story. I mean, if, you, if I thought somebody raped my sister and I was a fucking gangster, I'd be going to find that motherfucker too. Except for Jason Wallace didn't rape Latiti. So when when they said that, I thought maybe you know he's just helping him uh, help. Their, he's just helping them hunt, hunt the guy down, right? Find his address. But then Latiti can rat, can rattle off Jason Wallace's town that he lives in, his date of birth. His phone number? Surely they know where he lives. So what exactly did gangland shooter and convicted coke dealer who has a nine-year restraining order against his own nieces and nephews, Angel Servin, mean by, I was, I'm going to help you find your rapist? I don't know. But if Latin King had, if, if, uh, if somebody with ties to gangland shootings and shit wanted to find me, I'd want somebody to say, you in danger, girl. So ladies and gentlemen, that's, uh, that's my message to Jason Wallace and a story about the background of some of Latiti's family members. Not one of them. Not one of them doesn't have their fucking hands dirty. These are some crazy fucking people. Stream up.
Very interesting Latiti lore. Uh, our friend Jeff Vader, Jeff Vader, who just um, just fired off the cockstar, says, Hey, AP, show clavicles. I can't. I don't have that. I don't have another destination unknown with this background made yet. P.S. James, you're never, he's never going to, James, you're never going to score. Ha ha. And Jeff Vader said that in his own voice. Ha ha. Let's see what the chat has to say about that story, man. I wasn't really looking at the, at the chat while I was saying it because I had like notes I made. I was trying to do a good job to relay that story because this is convoluted as fuck. Until you start to understand who's who. That's not in the report. That, that, that Angel's these kids' uncle. You have to just figure that out and go through, like, Latiti's background check and find out what her sister's name is, and then it all makes sense. And you're like, oh, fuck. It is all servant family bullshit. Not one member of that family. And they did, they did the James Clark thing with child molesting. They were like, they were like hey, man, you touched my daughter. They're like, uh, you touched my daughter. Maybe your family's fucked up, Latiti. Roger Brown reacts with AP scorecard. Is Sailor V Media out there? Can you clip that? Go ahead and clip that and throw it on your channel so as many people hear about it as possible. I want to I wanna watch. See, because, Angel, you need to know. Nobody would know who the fuck you were if your sister would just shut the fuck up. Now I'm trying to get Latiti shot by gangsters. I love you guys very much. I hope you have a good day. Um, okay, see you later. Be good. Stop being bad. I told you. No. No. Love you. Bye-bye.